Hello, Hans Mini Mill CNC project here. I want to show what the base of this mill looks like uh, before I really start cutting on it. I want to flatten the bottom. This is the very bottom, the upside down of the base. And I want to get this flat to the top surface so that way I can measure with the height gauge as I'm scraping and know that the uh, ways on the Y axis are parallel to each other. Um, and you can see I started uh, skimming the top and as the cutter moved over, it's not removing any material. So the bottom base of this thing is nowhere near flat. So that's what I wanted to show right now and I'll have more videos on this coming soon. That's it for now, thanks. Haunt CNC mini mill project here. I'm gonna show my last pass on cutting the bottom of the base of the mill. You get the idea. It'll finish up. I'm gonna end the video now. Thanks. Okay, Haunt's here. Harbor Freight Mini Mill CNC project. I'm showing how I am now going to get the base uh, set up for skimming the dovetails. The first thing I need to do is get the ways of the base parallel with the x-axis on my larger mill. So, so I'm running. I'm running back and forth and i've got about ten thousandths out of parallel right now so what i'm gonna do is feed it right to there and tap this with the hammer just i'm kind of tight on that side i'm gonna go to the other side now you may be able to see the needle on the indicator moving it's going counterclockwise. So that means now this surface is too far that way. So if I take the hammer and tap on this side, I can sneak it over. I'm trying to get it to zero. And then hopefully now that I'm on zero and I feed over here, It'll stay on zero. This is an iterative process and anytime you're indicating anything in on a mill. So that didn't do it. It's better. I'm maybe six thousandths difference now instead of 10. So I'll tap it some more. Split the difference again. I'll go to half of six or four close enough. So we'll see how close am I now. I've moved two thousandths, getting closer. Now I'm only three thousandths away from being parallel. So I'm feeding it back over here. And I'll give it a, a little more tap. Try that. Three. Okay, well, you get the idea. I'm gonna finish dialing it in, and then then, then I will um, show you cutting with the dovetails. Thanks, that's all for now. Hans here, Harbor Freight CNC Mini Mill Project. I just went through the effort of indicating in the base of my mini mill, on my larger mill, and I got it to zero. And I thought that I had a clamping setup that would work. I put some shims under here. There was a, there's an offset in the casting from the base here to here. And I couldn't put bolts on these holes. It just didn't fit nice on the table. 
So I wanna show you what happens. If I put a wrench on here, this is deflecting the casting enough over here to actually see it on the indicator. So watch as I loosen this. Look at that. The casting just moved like three thousandths. So I'm gonna put the wrench back on here and I'm gonna turn and look at that. So now it's tight and I snug up, but I mean, I have to reclamp this setup. This can't work. If I did it like this, when I cut the dovetail, as soon as I unclamped it, then I would have that same 3000s distortion in my dovetail. That's all for now, thanks. Okay, Hans here, Harbor Freight Mini Mill CNC project. I have tried to redone, redo the clamping. Um, if you look, you can see the lip. I'm, I'm actually, I'm touching on this surface there. And likewise on the back side over there. Um, I'm still getting deflection in the indicator when I do the final tightening. And it's uh, it's even happening over here. I thought because of the wide web here that I could tighten here and not cause distortion in this casting. Um, I have less distortion with this setup, but I think, I think I'm going to go back to the surface plate with the height gauge and just start touching off here. I have the bottom fly cut flat, so that's flat. So that's my plan. I'm gonna just tear this down and move back over to the surface plate and just start scraping here and um, just try to get it flat that way. If I put distortion in it by clamping here, I'll be just uh, creating a bigger problem. Um, that's it for now, thanks.